This is my rendition of the Hucho's rain gutter grow system. You can see we have the standard American rain gutters below. We have some grow bags. This gutter has the little spike with the cotton wicks. We also have the traditional float valve, uh, which those are a challenge. Um, sometimes the water level is too high, leaks out the ends, but we're managing. You can see it's currently refilling. Here we have some tomatoes that did not sprout. We have a boatload of cilantro here, and this is a Tasmanian chocolate dwarf tomato. Uh, you can see we have some of them on here. None that are currently ripe. I harvested the one ripe one I've gotten this season. You can see it in one of the shorts on my page, but you can see plenty of flowers coming in and good growth. It's actually not growing in that pot. It's growing in the one over and it's leaning. So probably some type of support or trellis is a good idea. Over here, this one's a little bit different. Uh, you can see I'm using some concrete mixing tubs. I have three holes drilled in the bottom and the wicks go through down into the gutter. Uh, this seems better for this type of plant. What we have here are my radish. Uh, these are French breakfast, I'll put one out. These are French breakfast radish. Absolutely delicious. And these I poked holes and placed them pretty neatly. Uh, those over here were a little bit of a random sprinkle. Uh, probably there's a reason why to be organized. Over here you can see one of the wicks uh, that a animal came and pulled up. They may have thought it was a worm and I don't blame them. So it still has two more wicks in here and it seems to be doing okay. What I did is I snipped off two suckers from that Tasmanian chocolate tomato, planted them in here and they are already growing and we are very close to having some flowers come out. So this might not be a bad idea. Let's see if this tub gets overtaken. Down here you see the float valve filling up. I would recommend, however, when Hucho does them, he uses flexible tubing. That's probably a much better idea than this rigid PVC, mostly because I did not want to glue this together. So there may be the occasional minor leak from there and there, and you don't want to lose your valuable hydroponic solution. Over here, you'll see uh, some weeds, but you'll also see a little baby cilantro that did not make it into the system. Uh, rather, it fell into a crack and life forms where life forms. So cilantro is perfectly happy growing underneath my hydroponic system. I will probably go ahead and put some suckers in here too from that plant. Uh, it's an easy way to get a head start without having to uh, germinate seeds, but we will end up with all of the same variety. Over here, you'll see the container, the reservoir where I store it. Uh, pretty standard, that is master blend and a spider. Um, but for future use, probably only keep a certain amount of rigid PVC and flex tubing for the rest. I also got some of those round vertical float valves that he uses um, in recent setups that'll probably be much easier than aligning and designing and doing all this cut work uh, with the traditional float valves. Anyway, that is what's growing on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Any questions, ask below and look at my beautiful radish. Till next time, peace.